Okay, we are gathered here today <laughs> to try and save this swipe. Well, actually this was a swipe that I used to try and save a pour and I had two colors too close together and they just muddied like crazy. There's some really, you can't see it from there, but there's some really neat stuff going on in here, but not enough to save this thing. So I'm gonna film this and see if we can attempt to save it. I don't know how. I grabbed some colors already. I'm mixing them now and we'll throw them on it. <laughs> see what we get. baby. Hope we have enough of you. Spread on out. I wasn't going to have enough paint, so this is where we get creative. specifically wanted to drip that on there to get all the paint back on the board that I could. All right. Now wood. I think we're okay. I want to get that center spot a little bit better, but then I think that'll be about it. move quick and go with your gut and that's just kind of what I did here. Hope it turns out. <sighs> it was either this or let it dry completely which would take about a week or two to, to, until I could pour on it again. You'd have to fully cure this before I could pour on it again. I wasn't willing to wait for the canvas. 
so it's worth a try to save it. a walking mess tonight. Yes, it is tonight because I was pouring earlier today. Then when this one messed up, I decided to stay up, stay out here and get it done. Anything else comes over fine, if not fine. There's some big cells still getting bigger on this canvas. So at least there's a hope for this one where I do not, I know there wasn't before. There wasn't a way I was going to let that one dry. I, was, I knew it wouldn't dry good enough. so good and here's what we've got now I'm a little bit actually I'm a lot happier with this even if this doesn't turn out I gave it my best shot that other one was not gonna work out and these big cells down here just keep getting bigger and bigger look at that that's cool so maybe a tragedy turned into a triumph I don't know not till it dries some neat colors in there, the brown. I put a little red in that brown. The dark blue is actually a metallic blue that I added some phthalo ink to and did not stir all the way because I wanted it to separate a little bit. At least that's what I was hoping for, so you can see some of it there. I like how that turned out. Yep, so far so good. So I guess we'll... uh come back and take a look at it when it's dry sometime in December. I'm just kidding.